All right, what we're working on today is a train condenser unit, and I got a call that in the afternoon it just doesn't keep up with the, with the heat load in the house. Uh, I got about 37 degree suction and about 160, 65 degrees head pressure. And I have a temperature coming off the suction line of 82 degrees. So my superheat is way off the chart. It's like 70 degrees of superheat. So this is a train unit. It's in a three-bedroom house. Um, looks okay out here, um, but it's just not cooling. So I think it's shy on Freon. I don't see any signs of obvious leaks, though. So we'll get up and take a look around here. It's a decent installation, except that that box is not to code. The disconnect box is too close to the condenser. There's enough clearance there. And they have this big tree here, so this is the kind of stuff you run into all the time. I uh, just checked the filter, it's clean. Right here we have the Edison box that allows Edison to shut it off when they when the demand is high on the grid here. So uh, check the filter, it's clean. I'm gonna go up in the attic and check airflow. Alright, we're charging it up now. We've gone a little ways. Our uh, superheat is about uh, 60, 25, so about 40 degrees. I'm gonna keep uh, putting Freon in here until we get about a 12 degree subheat. Uh, I'm sorry, superheat subheat. <laughs> and, uh, and the key here is patience. See how it drops real slow even though I'm not putting anything. I'm going to wait a second or two before I drop any more in and try to get this to stabilize. We'll see. We'll go from there.